Hi, this video is about doing backups in Plex control panel. I'll be showing you the different ways you can set up your backup or do your backup from Plex control panel. As you can see, uh, I have two domains over here and I'll, I'll be showing you uh, the way we can do backup through the backup manager. So these are the two domains. Let's go to backup manager and clicking on backup manager you can go from the left bar also just click on backup manager and choose the domain name you, you want to configure the backup for so let me just go with the first domain here after uh, at the beginning it will be like this when it's not set up so there are different options available like backup um, uh, scheduling the time and also the remote settings remote settings means like services like uh, google drive aws dropbox like that so i'll be showing you all of these backup options the first one is the default backup where we can download the backup of the file so now if we go to the schedule backup we can schedule automatic backup to be happening with our server for the time that we specify uh, there are different options available here you can just uh, have a look and then try different options so this will create uh, create an automatic backup at the scheduled time in our server in the scheduled location next let's go back to our backup manager and let's go to the backup option and from here you can uh, do a backup right away like and, it, and there you can see the location is also specified i'll come back to this backup option later uh, first let's explore the remote storage setting on my left you can see there are different remote storage services like dropbox and google drive let us try setting up dropbox when you click on the dropbox it will take you to the extension page and it can be installed for free what once it has been installed we can configure the dropbox backup uh, to happen automatically so let's go back to our backup manager once again and go to the remote remote storage settings Okay, now you can see the Dropbox option. Clicking on it will take us to the Dropbox backup option. And after we sign in, we can configure the Dropbox, uh, sorry, the backup to um, the, the files to be backed, uh, backed up to our Dropbox account. Next, similarly, we can add the Google Drive backup also. And then it will um, automatically create a backup in our Google Drive folder. You can also upload sorry i'll talk about uploading later so let's go back to our backup manager and navigate to the remote storage settings and you can see that google drive and dropbox are being currently listed now i'll take you back to the backup option that we missed earlier uh, we can create a backup uh, at the time we want and there are different options available like full backup or incremental backup and then it will be uh, stored at a particular location clicking on the backup will create an instant backup of our in of our file and then it can be downloaded and then later can be uploaded to our through our plex control panel or to different server and for downloading we need to give our input our password so 
as you can see it's asking for a password and you can download the file thanks for watching have a good time